Welcome back guys to another episode of Let's Play More Oblivion. Um, I decided this episode I might as well do a little bit of exploring slash adventuring type stuff, so... Um, yeah, I accidentally went up here and I didn't mean to try to exit this cave. Place, fortress type deal, I don't know. It's, it's a cave, but they're using it as a fortress, I guess, so... Uh, yeah, that dude's all glitched up in there. Just gonna try to heal a little bit and hopefully find some type of really cool, um, like, place. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it much more than that. Some type of really cool place. Um, I forget how much money I have actually, so I'm gonna check that out really quick. 41 gold. Cool, so we might be able to make it back to Belmont. Um,. Actually, there's a couple places by Balmora that I'm pretty sure um, will be adventure-able, I guess, <laughs> lootable and stuff like that. I should probably take a look at the map. There we go. Alright, so yeah, we're just going to head right back up to Surin again. Take the stilt strider. Not the stilt strider. But, yeah, hopefully some adventures will be made. <laughs> and hopefully, by the time we'll, we are back at Belmora, it'll be daytime. Because I just don't like the night. Over there is the mine, and here's where I killed these guys. So yeah, awesome. And there's some ruins over there that I should probably explore sometime other than right now because I don't have a lot of health potions or anything, or a steady supply of health potions. I think that I might look up or hopefully find in game a good steady supply of health potions. That'd be really nice. That usually doesn't happen. Things don't usually work out just nice for me on anything. It took me three episodes to get this sword. So yeah, things don't work out. What are you even doing here? Ha! Yeah, you shouldn't have... Shouldn't have even been there. Mud crabs don't have time. That's just... Absurd. What is absurdity? Abs absurdity is not a word. I don't think. Regardless, Care to see the sights? Belmora, yes. And it is daytime. It looks like it's just morning, so that's good. Nice, alright. Cool, so I'm pretty sure over somewhere around this area, over this hill, it's like a little. Place. I don't know, it's been a while since I played this, so. that I'm stuck. You cannot tell me that I'm stuck. 
This did not just happen. Come on, walk. Continue to walk. Come on. We can get out of this yet. Yes. Okay. Wow, that was ridiculous. Already getting ourselves. I, I can kill I can kill this orc that has the legendary sword, but I get stuck in between three rounds. Awesome. That is pretty pro if you ask me. Alright, yes, let's see what this ancestral tomb has to offer. What's happening? No! It was trapped. I had no idea. Alright, I can't can't even wait. Can't wait here either. Apparently there's enemies nearby. What? Oh shoot. There's something behind me. That's probably why. Alright, there's like a ghost. Might be able to kill this guy. The one here. Oh, yeah, he doesn't really do much. He doesn't do much damage. Yeah! Plasma, that's worth a decent little amount, I guess. Right, let's do this with no help. Actually, let's see if I can. I probably can't rest or wait. Okay, that's not good. Dagger, which is nothing. Thar's chest key, I'll take that. Invisibility. Scroll of Lesser Domination. I do not know what that is. And Book of Dawn and Dusk. I don't think I need that. Oh shoot. Conberry. And a flawless emerald. I will definitely take that. And this looks really ominous. And it's really creepy whispering. I don't like that. I'm imagining that that chest or whatever that little box is probably trapped, just like that door was. Hoping he doesn't kill me, please don't kill me. Okay, cool. And it only had an iron broadsword. Not worth it. Not worth it by a long shot. Is there anything? Anything else? I guess not. Alright, so. On a scale from 1 to 10, I'm going to have to rate this dungeon as 0, because that sucked. Besides, I guess the scroll. The scroll is pretty good. The scroll makes it a 2, because I can sell it. I think it was like almost 500. 500 monies that I can sell it for, and I 
I'm liking the sound of 500 monies. For sure. Ooh, what is this all about? We got a camp up here. Are they bad guys? Let's hope they're bad guys. I'm gonna mess these guys up. You know what? It doesn't look like they're bad guys. He's a miner taking a break. Let's see. I heard there have been some trouble up at Fort Frostmoth. Never heard of it. It's in the island of Solstein. North of Vardenfall. Okay, cool. And that added a quest. I might take that up. I guess he's talking about the prophecy that Isn't I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be Isn't there someone else filling. you can talk to? Miner's pick. Nah. Doesn't seem like me. Very powerful. Gotta be like another tomb or something around here. Oh, there's a mine. Or it could be a cave, I don't know. Caves and mines are the same thing, so. Whatever. Ooh, let's kill this rat. Sword. Oh, it's a mine. Oh no, it's a cave. Okay. Whatever. Oh, looks like a mine. There's a mine cart. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's almost like playing baseball with those little things. Actually, I wonder if I can. Oh, I can! Holy cow, raw ebony. If I remember correctly. Oh, that's not the right button. If I remember correctly, ebony is worth a lot. Um, raw ebony, yes. It's worth 200. Per, I don't know, ingot. <laughs> it's not really an ingot, because I think ebony is like... Actually, I don't know what ebony is. I don't think it... Does it exist? To be... Oh, shoot. That is not anything that I probably want to mess with. Yeah! Wow. Okay, if that's in here, I really want to see what else is in here. What the heck would this be guarding? Oh, there's nothing in that one. That's so weird. in all of these even though I can barely see them wow that wasn't even very deep in the cave this is farther this way already got these yes I did Okay, that's good. Hey what else like a person? 
person, but it was a bottle. <laughs> Actually, come to think of it, Ebony might be like an illegal item to have in this game. I don't really remember for sure, but. Tremendous. Only two pieces of ebony out of this hole. Okay, cool. Three pieces. Maybe you can get two from one of the. Nope, just three. Alright. Four pieces, not bad. Hmm, I don't know. I don't trust this place. Can I not harvest this ebony? Come on. I just want a piece of ebony. Oh, I'd like aim up here, kind of, or. Oh, and there was nothing. I know that in the original game you could not forge armor by getting raw materials, but I'm pretty sure um, in one of the add ons they made it so you could forge armor, so. I have the add-ons, and I'll look more into it, but I'm pretty sure I can forge armor and weapons, and ebony armor is a heavy armor, and yeah, it's the second best armor, I'm pretty sure, because basically in all Elder Scrolls, Elder Scrolls, um, the best armor goes from like, did I already check this? No, I didn't. Okay, cool. The best armor goes from. Hold on, I didn't check this this way. I don't think. Oh, unless this is where I killed the. Uh... Yes, it is. All right, the best armor. Um, the top two tiers in order are uh, ebony and then daedric, typically. So I don't really know if there's a higher tier in this with the DLC and everything, but uh, in the vanilla game it's basically Ebony and then Daedra. episode still and then we're gonna go find a place in the next episode so yeah that's how it's gonna go and I'm not seeing any place the oh there we go that's our place ha! that is our place cool, yeah. all right so thanks for watching I'll catch you guys later and please subscribe blah 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 YouTube stuff and see you later